Hello everybody, Hatches Lions here, and welcome to another review. And this time, we'll be taking a look at the Bandai Toho Kaiju series, Cretaceous King Ghidorah. So, let's get right into the sculpt. The sculpt of it looks very, very good. And I mean, like, uh, just the, uh, and I mean, like, just the scales of it look very, very nice. Like, let's just look at this. Look at these scales. Look at how very nicely done they look. Look at that. I also like the face. They captured um, the heads very well on this figure. They look very nice. I mean, there's like extra plastic, but who cares? Like, look at that face. Just look at it. It looks like it's smiling. I like the individual horns are sculpted. Because they are sculpted, like... They are sculpted, but it's just like on another. Um, and then the extra spikes here. That run down the back. Like... Look at that. Just look at the spikes that just run down the back and then to the tails. And then the little tails as well. Or the little spikes. And then they... End up with these like stinger things, and then the inside of, and then the uh, teeth. They're also there. If you look at that, look at those teeth. Come on now. Focus, focus. Come on, I know you can focus. Doesn't look like it's one of focusing today. Alright, well, I guess it's focused on this one then. So I guess we'll take a look at this one then. Teeth are very nicely done. And the legs. The legs have this nice armor to look to it. Like it's just ready for battle. And the feet. The feet are a little bit weird, but... They're like little tree stumps, and he's got this little claw here. And his tail is pretty long, too. Like, it's a longer tail. So overall, the sculpt on this guy is very, very nice. And then the wings, too. The wings are very nicely sculpted, too. They look like Ghidorah. So, yeah. And the paint, um, he's mainly like this, um, this very tannish gold. And then, like, some kind of a greenish, like, highlight on him, on the rest of him. Like the wings here, they're like a little bit of a yellow, but at the same time, like a sort of like a, I don't know, like it's kind of like a limestone-ish color, I want to say. I don't know, but it does capture a Cretaceous Ghidorah pretty well. And you got red for the mouth, which the mouth is surprisingly um, all painted. As for the teeth and the eyes and the horns. And the spikes all the way down are painted as well, all the way down to the tail, until it ends at these tips here. So yeah, careful because these spikes are actually pretty sharp. Now let's move on to articulation. Now unfortunately, as much as I wanted to break these two, um, yeah, unfortunately uh, they just didn't want to break so I just left them. And glue just and I just glued them back together. Unfortunately, I only got this head to move, so there's one. So I'll just count these two because on some they can move, on some they can move, on some they don't. So I'm just gonna count these as two. So that's three points. And the wings they're a little bit like you can move them, but the uh, but they get in the way uh, with the spikes. So folding them's a it's gonna be a little bit complicated. Because then it collides with um, with the other wings. So if you want them folded, yeah, good luck with that. Good luck with that. Yeah, it just looks a little bit awkward. So I wouldn't recommend folding them in, because it's just gonna. Uh, I was kind of. I was gonna warp uh, the um, the vinyl, so I just keep them out like this. The legs can also move. So if you want them like stomping around, you can. And the tail can also move. So yeah, just be careful because uh, sometimes the spikes can be a little bit sharp, somehow. 
So yeah. So let's move on to sizing then. So then let's size him up with uh, pretty much uh, the only monster he faced, and that was Rainbow Mothra. And yeah, this is about this is pretty accurate. I uh, like when he's uh, carrying um, a Cretaceous. Yeah, that looks great. It's really cool. And then let's bring out because everybody thinks that um, um, his parts were used for this monster in the future film, and that was the Final Wars Rodan. And I could kind of see it, kind of not. Because it kind of looks a little bit different. But hey, if you really want to go with that, you can. And then let's bring out into what he kind of grows into. I say kind of because, um, yeah, um, it's kind of uncertain whether he actually does grow into it or not, but I'm going to show it anyway. And even though he was denied the last time, I'm going to show it this time. So, ha! I'm going to show my original pink tag Ghidorah. Now, as you can see, yeah, like, mine does look very nice with it, and I mean, yeah, it looks like... This looks like an adult, while this looks like a kid. So, that's all I can say. And then, let's move on to... Because why not? I mean... I don't think it's 2 out of 5, but let's just show it anyway. And that is... The Heisei Godzilla. Let's actually... Let's actually zoom in on it. And, uh, yeah. It looks decent. Like, this looks like a pretty good fight. Cretaceous, Ghidorah, and Godzilla. So, yeah. There we go. But now we're really gonna have to, um, oh, we're really gonna have to zoom out. Because someone big is coming, and they're coming in just a bit, so. Cretaceous, you may want to move out of the way. Uh, they should be here. Oh my freaking god, here, here he is. It is the Grand King Ghidorah. Look at this. Look at how gigantic he is. I have to move out the camera. He's just so big. Look at him. But yeah, as you can see, this is what grows in. This is what this turns into this. This into this. And yeah, as you can see, Grand King Adora is just very, very big. Very big. This is about size accurate, I'd say. Alright. Now let's get back to normal. And finally, Rarity, uh, Cretaceous Ghidorah shouldn't be too rare, but at the same time, you should be careful with the pricing because, I mean, I got mine for 25 bucks, but I saw some for like $40 and it didn't even have the tag, so do be careful with pricing because. I wouldn't pay more than 40 bucks for him, to be perfectly honest. I mean, he went with the tag. Like, I wouldn't even spend more than that. So that's it for this review. So, um, uh, so the sculpt of it looks very nice. Um, uh, the paint also looks pretty good on it. Um, m really accurate. I mean, like, I mean, even though it's a little bit chunky or a little bit thick, that's fine. Um, uh, the articulation I kind of wish it, well, I guess for me it's a little bit stiff, but it works. Um, in sizing, he'll go good with any 6 inch. So overall, I'm going to give this figure an 8 out of 10. An 8 mainly because I'm a little bit sad about these two heads here, so there's the sad part. And I guess also is that, um, one thing is that, is that, um, he's, um, he's a little bit of a shelf hog. Like, as you can see, he's a long, long figure. Like, let me just bring out, um, my Heisei Ghidorah. And, uh, yeah, as you can see, he's a long, long figure. Long figure. So, yeah. Yeah, so that's it for this review. So, overall, I'm gonna give this figure in, I'm an 8 out of 10. And I'll see you guys later. Take care. Bye-bye.